This is my first actual trip haul in two years. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Friday, I hope you've all had a great week. As you may or may not know, I have just come back from a UK Disney cruise. So I am here with my first Disney haul in two years. And I say that because I may have had things picked up from Walt Disney World or Disneyland or the character warehouse, but I haven't been on a Disney trip to bring you a Disney haul that I have collected myself so I'm really really excited. You may have seen my vlog trailer went up last Friday and if you missed it I will leave a card up above. It's only a minute just to show you what I got up to and give me a little more time to edit the vlogs and I would normally bring the haul to you at the end of my vlogs but as the vlogs won't end until December I just wanted to show you the haul now so that I can post these things on my Instagram and get them out of the packaging and everything so I'm really really excited to share this with you so my last trip was in September of 2019 to the Disneyland Resort and on the day we embarked on the cruise it was exactly two years to the day since we were last in Disneyland so it was very emotional. I didn't want to be away from the parks for that long and I still am away from the parks because I went with Disney Cruise Line. It is a completely different experience to the parks but that is not to say that it is a lesser experience. I think it is just as magical, just as special. You will see in the vlogs that there's a lot to do and if you just want to lie down that's okay. You can just relax. It's a lot more relaxing than a parks trip because I find with a parks trip, I go in like, right, breakfast, small world, pirates, haunted mansion, shop, big thunder mountain, space mountain. I am very all systems go in a park and I probably would have been like that on the cruise line as well had I not been very tired. I have been editing the vlogs over the past weekend and I realised that I look tired. You may not know it if you do not know me, but I know me and you can actually see in my eyes that I have not had enough sleep, which never happens in the parks, but I think that is probably because when I go to the parks, I've rested for a few days before and I didn't get the chance to rest before this cruise. So I think that's all it is. But I do think we packed a lot into our three night cruise and we had a wonderful time. So the haul isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. Watching the test cruises and the first sailings in Liverpool in July, there was an awful lot of merchandise I wanted. They had all the Disney Cruise plushes. But as the cruises went on, there started to be discussions and even sometimes arguments on the Disney Cruise Facebook groups. There was no stock left and Disney not being able to get it from either China or America wherever it was having to come from. So the merchandise then had to be limited and they've completely run out of certain things. So I made the quite controversial decision to queue for the shop to be open. We were on late dining so the shops open at 6 and I believe the early dining is either 6 or half past 6. So we were on late dining so it wouldn't affect us eating. It did stop us from watching Tangled the Musical but I did watch it in the stateroom which is absolutely fine. If I had gone on a back to back I would have just watched it on the next cruise but I did get to see it so that's all that really matters. So we queued up from about 10 to 5 when the store opened at 6. There were a lot of people queuing I think for our shop because there were two shops opposite each other. There was about eight people. There was more people in the queue for the other shop because it was the lounge fly shop and the spirit jersey shop, whereas I went to the plush and the pins. There were unfortunately no pins that said Disney Cruise Line or said Disney Magic, so I don't have any of those, but I do have one pin to show you. So I was quite worried because I could see the plush. In test cruise vlogs, there was a whole plush wall, which would have been absolutely a dream come true. But there was just like an end stack of them. They probably had about 16 of the small Mickey and Minis. They probably had about 10 of the medium Mickeys or large Mickeys. I'm not sure how they classify them. And they had two pillow pet Captain Mickeys. 
so it was very very stressful i kept saying to mom like we will stay in the queue but there's a chance that if everybody before us takes advantage of the two per person limit i will miss out and this will have all been wasted we did discuss splitting up but there was something my mum wanted to look at in the plush shop anyway so I went and got my plush while she looked at the shirt she wanted and she looked at the pins as well and then we headed over to the other shop once we'd got what we wanted from that shop it is a shame that the shops are split up because you do have to make a decision at least on the UK cruises of what you want the most so I did miss out on the Disney Magic Spirit jersey but that's okay I'm going to show you what I got the good thing is that everything plush wise that they had i got so it wasn't a case of everything i wanted i got everything they had that i wanted i got if that makes sense it probably only makes sense to me but that's the best way to explain it i'm not disappointed because what they had on offer i did manage to get and that was on my wish list so i'm really really happy so on to the actual haul itself i'm going to split it up into four sections i'm going to show you the clothing first then i'm going to show you the plushes and then i'm going to show you miscellaneous and then I'm going to show you statues and I'm not going to say any more about what I mean by that you're just going to have to watch but if there's anything in particular that you are here for and you don't care about the rest there are chapters in the description so that you can just skip to that section if that's all you're here for and that's absolutely fine I'll be honest when I watch hauls all I really care about are spirit jerseys, pins and plush I'm interested in mugs and other things but those are my priorities when I'm watching a haul that's what I'm really paying attention for so let's get into it so you may notice I'm wearing my Walt Disney World spirit jersey it is the Halloween spirit jersey from 2020 which was picked up for me by the Jodie and Laura Life two of my best friends and I'm doing that because I don't want to wear what you already know I've got and it's spooky season so of course I'm gonna wear this another one of my best friends Eleanor picked this up for me on her Liverpool sailing in July it came right in time to make the trip announcement picture on my Instagram but not in time to make the trip announcement video on my YouTube so it's tied at the front I know a lot of people don't like that but I personally do I do have to be careful what shirt I wear underneath because you can see the shirt so I have to kind of pick something that will look nice underneath it but then it's got a glittery white Disney Cruise Line logo and then on the back it says Disney Cruise Line and it's got the logo again it's a beautiful teal color this is like my favorite color Funnily enough, on my cruise they did still have it and my mum says it's because it's the basic one, everyone else wants the magic one. I was like, thanks for calling me basic mum. But this was $70 before tax. These cruises were in dollars because Disney Cruise Line operates in dollars and then because it was in the UK it was 20% tax on everything. Normally cruises wouldn't have tax because you're at sea but there was some sort of deal between Disney Cruise Line and the UK government that they had to tax so this was my spirit jersey and then the other one I wanted I didn't manage to get but my mum got one because they still had her size by the time we went into that store so she's very kindly let me show you what she got as well as what I got so so she got the magic spirit jersey this one is white and we were a bit put off by this one because we don't like white spirit jerseys because they stain but it's got a navy blue disney cruise line logo what made me want it even though it's white is that the cuffs are blue and gold because it's normally the cuffs that i get dirty because when i'm sat down i kind of like pull them off and they end up touching everything but the real reason i wanted this one and didn't mind that it was white was that it says the Disney magic on the back and then there's Goofy because Goofy is painting the Disney magic I didn't get a picture of it because I was on the ship and then when we got off the ship it was torrential rain so I couldn't like stand there and get a picture but Goofy is there Goofy is on the magic pins as well which is why I'm so sad I didn't get one but just imagine a pin with that Goofy on and that's what the pins are like but I absolutely love this and again it was $70 before tax which would make it $84 with tax we don't know what that is in pounds but you can go on one of those dollars to pounds websites I don't want to focus on how much I've spent and then we both got a t-shirt each we also got my dad a polo shirt which I don't have in this video and we got Joe a cap that isn't in this video but we both got a t-shirt each I believe mine is men's 
it's grey with like a navy collar and sleeves and it says DCL in red, orange, yellow and teal and it says Disney Cruise Line in navy. I think it's men's by the fit, I actually prefer men's fit, I find women's fit is a bit too curvy and I just don't like that but this gives me like 70s vibes, I absolutely love it. There's a lot of 70s vibe items at Walt Disney World that I would like as well so I had to get this. And this was $25 before the 20% tax. And then the one my mum got is white with blue sleeves with white lines. It says life's better at sea, Disney Cruise Line and then it's got the logo. This one is a ladies fit and it was $33 before tax which is usually why I buy men's clothes. They appear to be a little bit cheaper for some reason. So those are all the clothing items I have to show you. I'm so glad we did manage to get the Magic Spirit jersey even if it doesn't fit me. That's completely fine. I just absolutely love it. I think it's a gorgeous spirit jersey. And then we're going to go on to plush because I am a Disney plush collector so the Disney plush was what I really really wanted. So like I said at the beginning we did queue for the shop that had plush in because the plush were the priority and I just knew if I went into the spirit jersey shop I would end up missing out on my plush and even though I missed out on the magic spirit jersey my mum still got one so everybody ended up happy in the end. So like I said, there wasn't many of each plush, maybe 16 of the smalls, 10 of the mediums and just two of the pillow pet. So I was really, really worried. But luckily, not everybody who was in front of me in the queue went to the plush. A lot of people went to the pins. So I did manage to get everything that was there. So the first plush I got was the small Captain Mickey. He is absolutely gorgeous. He's got a captain's hat on and the captain's jacket, which is blue with gold detailing on it. It's got a Disney Cruise Line tag and it was $23 before tax and on his foot there is the Disney Cruise Line logo. So I absolutely love him. And then I got Captain Minnie. So she is the same as Mickey, but she's in red and she's got a skirt on instead of trousers. And again, she's got a logo on her foot, which I think stands out more than Mickey's because the logo on yellow is better than the logo on black. And again, she was $23 before tax. I thought it was a lot, but it's Disney prices, you know, what can you do? And then I reckon there was about 10 or 12 of these, but I managed to get the medium Sailor Mickey. So he is exactly the same as the little one. He's just a lot bigger. He is the perfect size for sleeping with, in my opinion, but I don't really want to take his tag off. He's got the exact same stamp on his foot and there's his tag. This one was $30 before tax. So I thought this one was a lot better value to pay $30 for this one and $23 for this one. If I had the choice between the two, if I couldn't afford both, I would have definitely just gotten this one, but I did want both. So this one for me is better in value and he's my favourite, but I wanted mini and I didn't want them to be different sizes, so I did get both. At the end of the day, it is my money, so I'm not worried about buying like duplicated items. And then I still don't know how this happened because three or four people before me headed to the plush, but I suppose they were all looking at the Minnie and Mickey and no one had took this yet, so I just bent down and got one because there was only two and I really had my heart set on one and it's the Captain Mickey pillow pet. So I only have two pillow pets and they are both Sullys. If you haven't seen my Sully collection, I will leave a card above. So I really, really wanted this pillow pet. So it's Mickey with his captain's hat on again and his entire body is his captain's outfit and he's got a little bit of Velcro to make him into an actual pillow haven't used him yet because I needed to keep the tag on for his price but you best believe I'm using him now. So here's his tag. It doesn't actually say anywhere how much he cost but I remember being really blown away by how much he cost. I think it was about $40 something like that. It wasn't a lot. He cost $35 before tax. 
And then the final plush my friend actually got for me on her Newcastle sailing, which was about two or three weeks before mine. And it turned out that they didn't have any on our cruise and then they had at least eight on the cruises that followed mine because as I said in my trip announcement, there were three cruises after ours, that was it. And they all had this plush, so I don't understand why we didn't. But my friend Alana picked it up for me on her Newcastle sailing, so I do have it. And it's the Captain Duffy Bear. You guys know I love Duffy Bears. If you haven't seen my Duffy Bear collection, I will leave a card up above to that video. He's dressed like Mickey, but he's just so much cuter because it's Duffy. He's got little hidden Mickeys on his paws and he's just adorable. So he comes with the Duffy storybook. I'm not sure whether it's going to be different because it's a cruise line plush. Shall we have a look? No, it's pretty much exactly the same because Duffy was given to Mickey from Minnie when he was setting sail. So Disney Cruise Line does fit really well with the Duffy Bears. So I'm not sure why they're not more prominent on the cruises. I wish they would be. There's his tag again. There's no price on this one, but I remember her telling me it was around $30 or $35. So he is absolutely adorable and I'm so glad I've got him. So let's get on to miscellaneous. I did pick up a mug for my friend Eleanor's birthday. She was the one who got me my spirit jersey. This is a gift for her birthday. She should have already gotten it by the time this video goes up, but I don't want to unwrap the packaging, so I'm just going to put a picture out of what the mug looks like here. Like I said, I only got one pin because they had nothing Magic specific and nothing Disney Cruise Line specific. I did want a 3D pin that my friend Eleanor got. I also wanted a magic pin, which she got as well. I had little screenshots on my phone from her Insta stories so that I knew what I was looking for. And also a first cruise pin. And they didn't have any of those. They just had some generic parks pins and some castaway key pins. So the one I got was a yellow. Can't for the life of me remember what a yellow was. But it's a castaway key pin that is like a sign pointing to all different places like Castaway Key, Disneyland and Walt Disney World and I just absolutely love it. I haven't been to Castaway Key obviously but I just wanted a pin so I got this one and if I ever see the ones that I didn't manage to get anywhere then I will of course get them because they can still commemorate your trip even if you buy them afterwards. And then this is Mum's, but like I said, she did say that I could show you what she got. This one was in the plush shop. Can't get into it. And it was behind the till, and we could only get the one. So I don't have one, unfortunately. A few moments later. But it's this gorgeous butter knife from Animator's Palette. It's meant to look like a paintbrush. Animator's Palette was where we ate the first night. We did already know they existed, so we got them in the shop first because I imagine a lot of people were probably looking for them after their meal, which they wouldn't have had any left because we were only able to get one. So my mum's really, really happy with this and it was only $10 plus tax. So now that I've finally unwrapped it because that was really, really difficult, she can have it now. And then all that's left for miscellaneous, I think, is the reusable bags. So I got all three sizes. These are like the Parks ones. I only have an Epcot one at the moment, but my mom is trying to collect them all. So we've got this small one, I think was a dollar. I'm not 100% sure. It's got Mickey and Minnie, the ship and the cruise line logo. And then on the other side, it says Disney Cruise Line. And then kicking it up a notch to the medium. It's exactly the same, it's just bigger. This size was 125 and I'm certain of that because there's a receipt in front of me, but I'm not sure about the other two. And then this is the large size that you saw in my thumbnail. I think it was either 150 or $2, but obviously they all have tax added on as well. And it's currently in the wash, but I did get a goofy face mask for $6. So with the miscellaneous done, all that I need to show you now is my statues and I've saved the best to last. I know I'm a plush collector, but I was absolutely blown away by these two pieces. So I'm considering these the best to show you last. So backstory, we got the plushes and the pins and then we got the mug and the butter knife and then we headed to the other shop and I was queuing because I saw these two items behind the till. My mum came to stand with me and I said, it's okay, you go and look around, see if there's anything you want. I'm just gonna get these and then I'll walk around. 
And then she came to me and she had found that magic spirit jersey. It was the last one in her size. So we paid for these three things all together. But I didn't want to browse around the shop and risk missing out on these. So I thought I would queue just for these and then have a little walk around. It did turn out that the t-shirts we didn't buy until days later. So I didn't actually end up getting anything else from that shop on that night. So the first item I saw behind the till was the Disney magic statue. So this is Mickey with rain gear on and he's at the wheel. This is the statue that is in the atrium and it's also very, very similar to the statue that is in Tokyo Disney Sea, which I had a photo with in 2019. I'm really, really glad to have this. I did have my heart set on it, but I thought if the plushes were limited, the statues would be limited, but luckily there was about six of each, so I managed to get one of each. It does say the magic underneath as well, and it was $45 before tax and I just absolutely adore it. It actually came in a bag and polystyrene as well, which is amazing because the other one didn't. It's just wrapped in tissue, so I'm really worried about it. We even like wrapped it in my mom's hoodie on the way home to make sure it wouldn't get broken. But this is a replica model of the Disney Magic. It's absolutely incredible. You can see like the concierge pool. You can see the adults only pool. You can see the area that plays the Disney films. You can see the kids play area. You can see the aqua dunk. It's absolutely incredible. It does actually say the Disney Magic there. And if you are wondering, I believe our room was this last one because we could see that there was a room one side and there wasn't a room the other side. So we must have been the last one but I'm just absolutely blown away by this. Again, it says the Disney Magic underneath and it was $50 before tax. And I'm just so, so happy that I actually own it. It's just incredible. So that was my Disney Cruise Line haul. I spent a lot of money, but the way I see it, I have been saving for Disney trips for the past two years and haven't gone on one. So it doesn't matter how much I spent. I did also buy something quite expensive when I got home. I bought a gimbal on the recommendation of Broadway's Away, Pete and Pippa. If you haven't checked out their channel, I will leave a card above because they're amazing. I'm actually using the gimbal right now and I'm finding it's a lot more stable than the tripod I am used to. So it's money well spent and I love buying something that was actually recommended by someone who uses it and I got to see it in action when I met them as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what was your favorite item. I will see you on Tuesday for my Halloween plush review for 2021 and I will see you next Friday for my travel day vlog. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye guys.